This video will show you how to replace a motor on a Razer Crazy Cart. To access the motor, you need to remove the two red side pods. They are held in with seven Phillips screws either side. Just undo these to remove the pods. Once removed, you can see the motor. You will need to remove the chain guard. There's three Phillips screws doing those. Unclip the cable ties to loosen the wire and then undo the four Allen key bolts holding the motor to the frame. You'll also need to unplug the motor. The controller side is the yellow and blue, the motor side is the red and black. Just remember the black wire goes on the window side of the plug. You can snip the connector off and also the cable tie bunching the wire together. This will allow you to unfeed the wire. Take off the chain from the cog and pull the motor out. This can now be discarded. Your new motor will fit in the same way the old one came out. So you want to slide that back into its housing, but ensure your wire is going through the hole that's been left there on the forks. Feed that through and at the same time push the motor through. You then want to do the four Allen key bolts up again. Once these have been done, you want to feed the chain back onto the motor first. So just pull back the tensioner, it will allow you to hook the chain back onto the motor cog. Once this has been done, you want to then feed the chain onto the wheel and then turn the wheel and the chain will then feed itself all the way back around onto the cog. The wire now has to go through the trunking on the frame. As you push it through, you'll be able to see at the bottom where the control and battery is. The cable pull out from there. You want to ensure the excess wire there isn't hitting against the steering limiter. Just turn it to check. If it is hitting, just push it in further. Once it's at the right level, just cable tie it against the cutout on that trunking. Snip the excess cable tie there. You want to now put the plug over the wire. Remember the black goes on the window side where there's that cutout. The wires have little teeth so as you push them in you'll hear a little click and they'll lock into place. Do that for the both black and red. These can now be plugged together once done. To test this working, we can switch it on, just wiggle the steering wheel first and then press the accelerator and you see the motor should kick into place. You can now place all the parts back on, so put the chain guard on first, followed by the two red side pods.